man. Candy on Chrome. This is who I do it for, man. Lance, one of the best cameramen out there. I've been, he been following us for a long time. I've been following him. I growed up with this guy. Now this, look what it is. This is what it is. Don't grace it. And he got all the footage. Candy on Chrome. You'll see it. <laughs> Y'all been waiting on it and it's here, man. You see the crowd, baby. We always bring the city out. We bring the county out. We bring 561, 954, and 305 out, man. Every year. Next year's gonna be even bigger, man. But right now, stay tuned on the racing, man. We're gonna give y'all the show. What y'all came to see, what y'all expect to see, what the f y'all wanna see. So I appreciate everybody taking the time out of their day, coming out, having a good time. The show was a success. And uh get ready for Street Beach 4 because it's gonna be bigger and better like it always is. Every year we climb and do better than we did the year before and next year it's going to be no different. Magic, what's, what, what happened at the event, man? What, what, was, uh, what was some of the misfortune? <laughs> misfortune, man. <laughs> I can tell you that, man. You know, you know uh, after going back and looking at the tape, that race with Macho, uh, I actually went, my car actually went through the water in a burnout box and I kind of shot water all in the back of my car. No excuses though, you know what I'm saying? We, we gave it a run and I broke the tires loose at around 3.30 and then, um, you know, the car just went crazy, even all out the way. So, you know, one of those misfortune things that happen. Every time you have a loss, you learn something new. So the next time when you go out there, you shouldn't have that mistake again. If another one come out then, you know, it is what it is. But from now on, we didn't learn a lot from our mistakes. This is the new beast that's been put together and uh, she ready. So I'm letting y'all know 2019 for the rest of 2019. Anybody with a don't on rims, 26 is a better hard tire can get it. And you will get it if you call Blue Magic Guy. And that's on everything. People thinking that, you know, Donk is a fad or something like that. Down in Miami, man, this is like a lifestyle, man. When uh, when I was growing up, you know, just regular kids in, in Carroll City, man, just looking at some of the dudes ride by in their car. They had Donks back then. It was on 20s and, and Ds, and then the 22s came about, you know what I'm saying? When I was at the bus stop on 183rd Street and 27th Avenue, you know what I'm saying? Watching the cars ride by, you know, it was one of them things I always said I wanted to get, so. I never thought it'd be to this level. I never thought that, you know what I'm saying? I never thought it'd be to this capacity where people fly from California and, you know, Illinois and New York and Texas, Alabama, Louisiana, just to come see, you know, our cars go down the track. I never thought that, I never imagined that, you know what I'm saying? But but being a part of it is amazing. You know, just, just having one, man, it's like a, a symbol of Miami. You know, it's like a symbol from down here. 
I mean, it's spread all over the United States now, and everybody want one now. Everybody, you know, feel like they need one. You know, it's a fad, it's a trend right now. But from Miami, man, this is like a lifestyle. So rather we stop racing, if we stop racing them all, you know what I'm saying? If we stop, if everything with this racing stuff come to a stop, we gonna still be on South Beach and our don'ts. We gonna still be at Sonics on Sundays with our don'ts. Like, we still gonna be riding around the city and our don'ts, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what Miami is. Everybody, y'all at Street B Street. This is Bank of Paris. The shootouts will start at 6.30. Once again, y'all at Street B Street, and you are with Candy on Chrome. I got him out of here. Y'all finally get to see him. Live and direct. Live and flesh. Turn around. Turn Where around, you at, man? Oh, shit. We got a celebrity <laughs> in the building. I support Kadrick. I basically, every time he called us for every little part, we shipped it to him. He called and said, man, you coming out? Because it's number three. So we had to come out. Now, how hard is it to drive one of these on the racetrack? A lot of people seem like, you know, they own these cars, they build these cars, but nobody owns them and drives them, man. What, what's it like? You know, I, I started off, I've always been a daredevil driving. Like, I, I don't know if you saw the East Coast back in the day. I used to hang out my car, hang on the hood of my car when we was driving, you know what I'm saying? Like, driving is something that I always loved to do since I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, me having the opportunity to drive something fast was something that I always wanted to do. Started off with the LSA Supercharger, and you know, that car was very predictable, you know what I'm saying? You stomp on the gas, the car go to the right, you know what I'm saying? Let the steering wheel go and then pack the gas and the stir wheel gonna come back, the car gonna catch and you're gonna take off, you know what I'm saying? But with these turbos, man, like when this boost come in, you don't know what this car is gonna do. Like this car is a whole different animal, you know what I'm saying? When it, and this motor, like this motor is. So, you know, this is probably one of the first time in my life I've ever been scared of my car. But to a certain degree, I'm scared of this car. This is not easy to drive at all. Like this is one of the hardest things to do. So. When you see people, you know what I'm saying, with the criticism and stuff about, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, you this, you that. I don't care about none of that stuff, man. At the end of the day, I want to drive my car. And if, if, if this car going down the track from now on, I built it from the ground up. You know, I've been a part of it every single step of the way. I know every single part that's on my car, because I paid for all of them. But I know every single part of my car, so I want to be the one to drive my car. I want to be the one to take this car to the top and I feel like I can do it. And you know, sometimes I took the back seat of it because, you know, whatever the case may be, but not anymore. You know, this is my car, this is my machine, and these gonna be my wins for the rest of the year.
Frazier. That's one. We got two more to go. Tell the motherfuckers get there because we ready. Okay, so the next phase is the finals in the dunk shootout, and that's gonna be with um, Rose and 250 Slim. And then we're gonna do the finals in the G Body shootout, which is gonna be with Playboy Greasy and 85 Monty. First things first, this is where it's at. Shot Town Show and Go, August 31st. Come check us out. As for what's up with the team, shit, me and Joe doing our thing out here with this G Body movement. Ruchi Wheel sponsors. It ain't just a company, it's like family, they take good care of us. We out here enjoying ourselves and having a good time, it's what it's worth. Check it out, make sure y'all don't miss August 31st, Chicago Chi Town Show and Go, US 41 Raceway. Came to Florida, did my thing. Shot Town Show and Go. Follow me at Playboy underscore Jeezy with a G underscore 3800. Congratulations, man. I'm from Chicago. Hey, yeah, Shot Town, stand up. Hey. Y'all see what it is? Fancy G body. Hey, Fancy G body. What up? Salute. Thank you for coming out. My guy. Thank you for coming out. Made the trip all the way from Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chad's gonna make the trip up to Chicago. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, gonna, gonna we're doing things. things. We're doing yeah, things. Man. Only person that's gonna get Hollywood to run. Maybe two fly, rose, but everybody wanna see the big show. Don't master, return to don't master, man. If he Can't said it, on Chrome, he man. meant it. For real, 2009 race day. <laughs> it ain't no fun when don't master ain't around though. You gotta see the Z, you gotta see the Z28, man. You gotta, Z06, I meant, Z06, man. Hey, yeah, they gonna get on me for that, man. Master, man. Free don't master, though. He'll be out soon, though. <laughs> We'll see is them tail like.
blocks, I'm selling laser. That's Street Beast 3. Man, I came all the way down from Savannah, Georgia just to be a part of Street Beast 3. Blue Magic, you could eat a good one this year. That's all I got. <laughs> you got any words to have you? Nah, I ain't got no words. I'm just ready to take more pictures. That's about it. Crack! Thank you, Hollywood. Thank you, sir. That's what we do. We feed the hood babies. We feed them babies, man. Hey! I talk that shit. Hey! 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 Two flash, get your ass a gift, boy. I want your ass, boy. I come here for you. Your ass been tucking tail. Pocahontas one of the baddest bitch around. You see this little red hole right here? It's a bad motherfucker. I'm gonna tell you one time, one time only. Stay the fuck out my way, or you get ran the fuck over. The game has changed. When you see these guys, look at my motor. I'll give you an instance. I'm one of the only guys, one of the only guys. I'm not gonna say the only, one of the only guys. I still have air conditioning on my car. I still have power steering, power steering pump. I still got an alternator. I still got music in my car. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are the things that I have in my car because I refuse to turn my my baby into a race car. You know what I'm saying? If I want a race car, I buy a race car. So, but with that concern, like people don't understand what goes into this thing. You know, I take these L's, I put myself out there like that, and this and this and that, and it's my fault. But I ain't blaming nobody for that, but you know, these these opinions that people have with nothing factual behind it, it doesn't really bother me no more. And to be honest, like, you know, the, the, that type of stuff kind of take take the, take away from me in the sport. You know what I'm saying? Like, it takes away from me and my, and I'm not in my feelings or nothing like that, but just certain shit you don't want to deal with. Y'all don't know what the fuck going on back here when we doing all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? You want to sit here and have your little opinion with no with nothing behind it? I care about that, man. Y'all take the fun out of the sport sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all want to blame the races, say the races ain't racing and this and this and that, but you know when, when you have class racing, these guys got to weigh their car 2,800 pounds in order to have a turbo in their car. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing a nitrous car, you're 2,200 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Like you got cars going out there that's you got don'ts going out there 3,500 pounds. You got don'ts going out now that's 4,000 pounds. I'm a thousand pounds heavier than all of them. I'm already at a disadvantage, so I got to make way more horsepower than them just to have a chance of racing but that's 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 too far for y'all thinking capacity y'all just want to see two cars go down the track on rims and i get it but you know what i'm saying the game has definitely changed and the bar is definitely higher and then you know the races that you're talking about and you're saying they're scared of races and y'all trying to match people with cars that's three thousand pounds and five thousand pounds just because they're on rims doesn't make any sense but y'all make it seem like it makes all the sense in y'all head, which is another thing I would never understand. But that's for a whole nother conversation, man. That's not for the day. Uh, this Ray, this day we're going to make uh, uh, Don't Racing Great Again 2019. <laughs> Stop it, Blue Magic.